Hey guys, this is House of Ramirez. Y'all already know what's up. We out here in Atlanta, the high streets of Atlanta. You know, things are warming up and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm over here chopping it up with my brother down from uh, the West Coast, Oakland to be exact. Shout out Oakland. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I really want to get down to explaining what exactly our brother is doing out on the West Coast. I, you know, I did a little digging and I saw all the great things he's doing. And I'm like, let me bring him on a show and give him the platform to tell everybody what he's doing. So I met with without wasting any more time can you please go ahead and introduce yourself tell our listeners our readers and our viewers who you are and where you are from for sure well firstly i want to say just thank you for having me on here this is super fun i'm super glad that you reached out i'm excited to be here and talk with you today and um yeah so my name is ahmed i'm a high school senior from oakland california i, I go to oakland tech um I'm super into basketball, like some things I like to do for fun. I like to play basketball, I'm on my school basketball team. I like to kick it with my friends, play video games and stuff. That's just like the personal side of me. But I'm also super into science. And so I've spent a lot of my academic career just pursuing different, as many like science courses as I could at school and like at local community colleges and stuff or just on my own. And then that's also, Science has also played just a huge role in my community involvement and extracurricular activities, which I guess we'll, we'll get into with other questions. So yeah, science has been a big part of my life. I have realized that, you know, besides just being uh, really engaged into school, um, you're also fully engaged into your community um, and you're driven by science. Um, and, yeah. you know, we, we need to be able to be open-minded, to teach our children, to teach our peers that science is actually really cool, despite what everybody else has said about it. You know, coming from my era, Bill Nye was like the shit, you know? Um, and a lot of people like, you like that? I'm like, yeah, I like it. And they're like, you're a nerd. And I'm like, okay. And then I realized now growing up, I'm like, I used to be a nerd. And people are like, oh, okay, so you were cool. And I'm like, oh, that's the thing now? <laughs> Well, I used to get teased all the time, boy, I tell you. Um, but, you know, it's it's important that um, we tap into different avenues of hobbies and things that pull us and drive us and push us, you know. So I want to go ahead and encourage you to keep doing what you're doing, always seeking to know more, uh, especially in science. Science is is the next the next thing, you know. We're seeing how we're we're slowly adapting to different things now in life. Um, things are not what they used to be. And we have to really buckle down and see the science of everything to really understand how things flow. You know, we need the blueprint. Right. We can't really move forward until we understand the blueprint. Um, but yeah, yeah. So can you please go ahead and tell us about your organization and what exactly it does? Okay, so I am the founder and CEO of Kids Cubed, a youth-led nonprofit organization whose mission is to introduce youth to the ones of the science through fun, affordable, and accessible means. Uh, I design science experiments along with my team, and um, with these experiments, we create we create the experiments and um, gather all the materials and like instruction manuals, and then we send these science kits to students uh, all around in our community and also all around the country. So we've um, distributed over like over 5,000 science kits. Um, we've hit all 50 states and we've been able to donate a lot of kits to the Oakland public school system, which, which I'm a product of, which has been very fulfilling for me. It's nice to be able to, to bring science to my community and to communities abroad. Yeah, yeah. And that's super awesome. You have not only conquered all states, you know, you're actually, pouring into the community that you're actually from. And it starts in our own backyard. And that's that's what people tend to get, but most other people, they're like, well, we need it over here. Yeah, that's cool, we love you too. But you know, I gotta show love to the hood that raised me, you know? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh. I think for, for every science kit that's purchased on our website that we send out, I we gotta match that with the um, donation to, to Oakland schools yeah. as well. You know, that, that's where I'm from. And I got to make sure that um, my community is receiving those those same opportunities. That's very important to me. Yes, yes. Got to keep it fair all across the board. You know, um, 
Yeah, so that's amazing. I want to applaud you for that. You know, the fact that you're not only encouraging others to also get into science all around the world and, you know, across the nation, but also making sure that home is taken care of. You got to take care of home right. first. Yeah, Definitely. home made you, you know? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Can you let me know and let everybody else know what was that pivotal moment where you were like, this is what I like to do and this is how I'm going to go about it. Like, what was that moment like when you were like, hmm, this is what I'm going to do. And you started your organization. It's a it's a funny story, actually. So I was I have a younger niece and nephew, Isla and Amir, and I babysit them all the time. And whenever I babysit them, we do things like play chess or video games or watch TV, um, you know, kid stuff. We like just regular kid stuff. And so one time I was babysitting them, I asked them if they wanted to try out some science experiments, you know, science something is something I loved as a kid and it was a huge part of my upbringing and I wanted to share that with them. But they told me no, that they hated science and that they were bad at it, which was shocking to me because my nephew said he was bad at science and that he hated it, but he would eat any food, he would play any sport, he would try anything, but when it came to science, he already doubted himself. And so um, I wanted to, I wanted to change that. And so I went to my room, I got out some books and designed experiments for us to do with stuff we could find around the house. Earlier, you said, you know, it starts with your, in the backyard. For us, it literally started in the backyard. We, we went and we got out, we got like leaves from the trees and like sticks and we had different observations with them. We, um, we made a potato battery, we made a sundial and that scientific exploration for them they loved it. And the joy that they felt is why I wanted to share with other children in Oakland. And then that just branched out to children everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So literally it started at home. And literally yeah. it was in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. You know, and then the fact that you were persistent, you were like, you know, I love my niece and my nephew. Let me show them the cool part of science because right now they might not understand how cool it really is. And then, right. you know, it, it starts like that. It starts allowing our youth to understand a, a positive note to different subjects. You know, sometimes it might be like, oh, it's a little boring. Well, there's a fun side to it. I can help you. And that's exactly what your organization and um, the tools that you have for our communities and for our children and for anybody. You don't have to be a child to go ahead and, you know, be part of the you know, part of the process and get cool with science, you know, you could be any age and just dive into what you have to offer and still adventure with others. You know, there's no age limit to that. Um, science is cool all across the board. Um, but yeah, that's super dope that, you know, you went ahead and for the love of your family, you were like, let's do something fun and let's do something cool and let's change the narrative to science. So how has science and how has entrepreneurship changed your life? Um, well, one thing that, that immediately sticks out is I just learned a lot through this whole process. You know, I'd never started a company before. So it's just, I had to learn how to do all that. I had to learn the nuances and just all the stuff that goes behind the scenes and running a business. It definitely made me appreciate businesses a lot more. It's a lot that they, that, and it's a, it's a huge team effort that I had to figure out really. And so that's definitely one way entrepreneurship has shaped my life. And then also it's interesting because this entrepreneurship, yes, Kids Cube is my company, but we're a nonprofit. We operate as a nonprofit organization. So um, just being able to give back to the community and see that if you have this idea and if you have the persistence, you can make that impact in your community. Um, that's just been super beneficial to me. And it's taught me that, that, that playing a positive role in my community is something that I want to do throughout my life and however whichever way I can and that maybe whether that's kids cubed or, or something else that I don't know yet I, I want to be able to to contribute positively yes yes absolutely and I definitely feel you on that you know entrepreneurship does change your life um it, it gives you the opportunity to expand as an individual, of course, as a brand as well. So, you know, I, I can see the growth in Kids Cubed um, and in yourself as well, you know, um, but it definitely overall just helps you evolve into a, a different type of person, a better version of yourself, you know, 
Um, and I encourage you to keep learning, keep teaching us as well, because there's a lot of things that we don't know that you're out here willingly wanting to, to help us understand and learn. So keep up the great work. Um, this is super amazing, super phenomenal. Um, the fact that you're changing the narrative to science, you know, so thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So I want to ask you, um, what do you think would make the world a better place coming from your experiences from life? Like I tell people all the time, we live life the same. We're born, we live life and we pass away, right? And in mm -hmm. that life, we have different paths for different people, but we still have the same footprints. You know, we wake up every morning, we go to sleep every day or every night, we eat, we do similar things just on different paths. So coming from where you come from, um, you know, rep in Oakland, like what do you think from your perspective would make this world a better place? Man, that obviously that's just that's a big question. That's a tough question. And I'm not I'm not really an expert on that. I think I need a, a lot more life experience. But one thing that does stick out to me, I would say, is is unity and um, displaying solidarity with one another. For example, Oakland is a very diverse place. There's people from all different racial backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, uh, gender orientations, um, and just everything really. But a lot of times there's disconnect between all these communities. You know, we're all from Oakland. We're all at the end of the day, have more similarities and differences. And I think, well, one of the, biggest things that could help out the world is if we all sat down to talk to each other, listen to each other, understand each other. So that way we could approach our problems together and create solutions. So I don't, I think the first step would be unity and, and solidarity. Yes, yes, I would agree with you there. Um, shout out to my homeboy, Tyrone Gibson. Um, he's from Oakland and he's such a kind soul too. Um, and he speaks heavy on that, you know, unity, you know, we can all get along. So um, yeah, you know, you got your head on straight. Um, and as long as we all come together, you know, whether it's Oakland, Atlanta, New York, LA, it don't matter. As long as we understand that we're all placed here on this earth to work together, to work for one another, to help each other, that's the bigger picture. You know, it's not all about right. us. And you're clearly giving us that statement by your actions. You know, you're giving to all of us and we appreciate it. We love it. Um, and yes, unity will be able to help shape a better future for everybody. Um, but yeah, that's super awesome. I, I, I believe that that's a key component to a better future. So thank you. For sure. Kids Cubed isn't just like me doing this all by myself and then, and then just giving back that way. I'm sure I'm spending my time to give back to the community, but Kids Cubed is only possible because all of these community members have rallied together in support of me and in support of this mission. So um, sure, I'm the founder of Kids Cubed, but Kids Cubed is held up by this unity that we're talking about by everybody in Oakland, people across the Bay Area, like the state, the country that are supporting Kids Cubed and then supporting students in their science education. Yeah, yeah, it's a community. The word unity yeah. is in community. So it's yeah. a perfect picture as to what can get accomplished as long as we, we follow our dreams and we have the support of the people around us. So yeah, shout everybody out in Oakland in the Bay Area, you know, for <laughs> actually, you know, coming in together and making it an opportunity for all of us. It's not just the community there, but for all of us. So thank you guys, everybody. Uh, thank you. Um, I do want to ask you, you know, um, you're excelling in school, you're excelling as a successful entrepreneur, um, your organization Kids Cubed is actually, you know, it's very motivational, it's pushing us to, you know, turn our gears and see things from a different perspective and learning. Um, what is a great piece of advice um, coming from yourself? that you have for all of us, myself included. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to like, what pieces of advice do you have for us up and coming entrepreneurs as well? Hmm. You know, whenever I get asked this question, it, it makes me feel a little weird because it's like, you know, I'm, I'm 18 years old. How am I supposed to give advice to people who are way older than me, who have just so much more life experience? And um, 
but I, I, I've had to sit down and think about this, this question a lot. And what I've, what I, what my biggest piece of advice just from my 18 years of life, you know, not very long is um, what's benefited me the most is just being open and like, like thirsty for knowledge and for ideas. And you can learn that anywhere. You can learn that from the newspapers. I'm looking at my bookshelf right now. I've learned so much just in this conversation right here. So I'd say the biggest piece of advice is to um, seek knowledge wherever and however you can, and that no knowledge is, is bad knowledge. Yes, yes, I agree with you there too. Um, someone once told me when I was actually, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I was 17 or 18 as well. Um, he was like, okay, so asking questions is an aggressive way of seeking knowledge. And I'm just like, so I could keep asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> he was like yeah he's like a father figure to me he was like yeah he's like keep asking questions I'm like because uh and he's like don't listen to anybody else because in order for you to move forward and grow as an individual you have to ask the right questions so you can become informed and you can move forward and regardless of what people say around you they're either going to stay in that space of talking about others or talking about how you are growing but you're going to move forward. So always focus on yourself, have that tunnel vision, um, peep out and push out the negative, push forward, seek knowledge, like you mentioned. It's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to appreciate the humbleness that you have about yourself. Um, I think that's important too. A lot of us, a lot of our young ones as well, um, they talk and, and it's, it's okay to have confidence now because you can tell you're confident, but you're also humble. You're real. So um, I want to go ahead and let everybody also know that in order to be a successful entrepreneur, yes, you're filled with confidence because that's what pushes you to keep doing what you're doing and that drive for your purpose. But you have to be able to be humble. And the only way you could really take information while you're learning is if you're in a humble state to be able to receive something, you know. So I want to shout you out for that. Um, but as you know how I get down, uh, House of Ramirez at the end always does a House of Ramirez shout out. So right now we got the spotlight on you. Um, but we're going to go ahead and give you the opportunity to have the platform to put the spotlight on people that are in your corner backing you up. Man, you know, I could sit here and just, if I were to list people one by one, I would be here all day just because all I am, I, I like to say, my, my dad has always taught me, all I am, I owe. And so um, if I were to start anywhere, you know, I, I have to start with my parents, my, my mother and my father. They've been my biggest supporters, you know, ever since before I was born. So none, nothing's possible without them. My little sister, Athena, for always being there with me and for always challenging me and, and pushing me to be better. And, you know, um, in school, just all of my teachers and all of my classmates who have spent their time to, to teach me and to um, show me not just stuff in the classroom, but also outside in the world also. That goes for all the mentors I've come across. And then as far as Kids Cube goes, you know, all of our supporters, all the organizations that have reached out to us to collaborate with us to help us propel our mission all of the individual donors all the people that have purchased science kits to support us you know nothing none of the kids cubed is possible without any of you so i want to say thank you well like i said if i were to list everyone it'd be a very very long list yeah yeah you definitely don't want to leave anybody out but you know be all inclusive and allow everyone to fit under the thank you and the shout out and i think that that's very uh commendable of you um you're very mindful of how you treat others and how you um you know just appreciate others um and that's that's amazing we have to learn from that too you know we can't leave people out especially when we got the spotlight on us you know it's easy to forget sometimes um yeah. but you're you're an amazing inspiration um i i applaud you for everything that you have been doing and you will continue to do because we're going to go ahead and throw that in there and speak that into existence you have Great. amazing things planned for you in the future um and guys if, if y'all haven't tuned in y'all need to go ahead and contact my brother and go ahead and get you a kids cube it's only right i mean you know it's not that difficult <laughs> go ahead and copy one okay can you go ahead and tell us where we could find you on instagram um facebook for sure. you have 
Um, our, our website is www.kitscubed.com. K-I-T-S, Kits, C-U-B-E-D, cubed.com. Our Instagram is Kits Cubed. Um, follow my personal journey. I don't know if people are interested, but my, my Instagram is Ahmed underscore Doug. I made it as like a seventh grade. I was a big warrior fan. I, I just kept it ever since. But um, yeah, we have an Instagram, a website. So check us out. Support. If you want a copy of science kit, it's, it's, it's all on the website. And, and we look forward to, I look forward to your, all your support. Yes, yes. Most stuff, most stuff. We'll go ahead and put all your inf- information down below. Um, and we'll make sure to tune into what you're doing. Guys, y'all already heard. Girls, y'all already heard. If y'all trying to get cool with science, y'all know where to go. Hit up our brother Ahmed at Kids Cube. It's, it's a wrap. I mean, what else do you want? You want to be cool? You want to know science? Go ahead and hit up our brother Ahmed. Ahmed, without any more time uh, taken from your beautiful day, um, I'm going to just thank you for making time to be on my show. When you have new projects, do you have anything coming out new? You go ahead and hit me up. I'll bring you back onto the show. I appreciate you so much. And until next time. For sure. Today, just, I want to say again, thank you for having me. This was super fun. And it was, it was a pleasure being here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. Make sure to follow House of Ramirez on all social media platforms.